Let's talk about weekend strategies for weight loss. You're not going to lose the weight if you think that your weekends are something you deserve, right? Like if you deserve to have the weekend off because you did such a good job on the week during the week. Instead, I encourage you to change how you see your weekends. Start to see your weekends as your weekday setup. Meaning the weekends are your opportunity to prep your meals, to go shopping, to get done the things that you're too tired to do during the week. Your weekends are your setup for success. So if you want to lose the weight, you have to ask yourself, what do I need to do this weekend despite what I want to do? What do I need to do this weekend so that my week next week could be amazing? What hard things, what sacrifices do I need to make this weekend so that next week is easier? <clears throat> and then you start having easier weeks after easier weeks. And then this starts to create a pattern for you where you see that what you do every single day affects your week. It affects your month. It affects your weight loss progress. It builds momentum. It starts giving you consistency. It starts building your endurance. It starts showing you that you must persevere. You have to do this. Don't allow the weekends to be the very thing that ruins your weight loss. As you go into your weekend, <coughs> every weekend, have a strategy. What do I need to do to succeed and sur survive and thrive over the weekend? Have a plan for your food. Friday night used to be pizza night in my house and Harry and the kids would order Domino's or whatever and it smelled amazing. I I want pizza, but I wanted to lose the weight. And so what I started doing was I would buy frozen cauliflower crust pizzas. And then I, you know, would make zucchini. I would make my own cauliflower crust pizzas. Then I would make zucchini circles and like these little, you know, I'd cut up little zucchini slices and put them on a microwave plate and make little pizzas out of them. And those were perfect. And then there were times where I didn't have any of those ingredients and I would just take the cheese and the pepperoni off of the pizza and I would just eat that. My husband always always got like frustrated with me. I'm like, what's the difference if I ate the whole piece or not? Anyhow, have a strategy. You're not going to lose this weight on accident. That's how you got here, right? You gained the weight on accident by not having a strategy for the weekends, by allowing yourself to just do whatever you wanted, by just showing up on the weekends any way you wanted. Another thing I want to talk to you about, I don't know. Oh, let's just keep it to weekend strategy. So have a weekend strategy. And if you're a woman of a certain age, meaning 35 and up, I'm about to rain on your parade a little bit. It. Discipline yourself with bedtime even on the weekends. P start practicing, prioritizing a relationship with God where you get up or you at least put it on your calendar to start having time with him. Don't phone in your relationship. Most of all of my strength to do all the hard things is all because of my relationship with God, my spiritual, my desire to be so spiritually focused. When I'm spiritually disciplined in this way, I experience profound supernatural physical blessings in the form of strength, in the form of my will aligning with God. So your weekends count. So start using the time wisely, right? Start getting up early, going to bed on time, still drinking your water, planning your meals for next week. And by about Wednesday of every week, start identifying what you need to eat for the rest of the week and into the weekend. And if you need to, put a little grocery shopping order together. You know, do an online thing and have it delivered, whatever. You've got so many options available to you now. Make it work. Otherwise, you're not going to lose this weight if you keep showing up five days a week and then blowing it every weekend. Another thing too is if you're right now allowing yourself to drink alcohol, that's going to set your weight loss back so much. And I know our world tells us alcohol's okay, you know, mommy sippy cup, you know, all the things. You can drink the alcohol, but you also choose the consequences of the alcohol. Weight, back, weight, weight loss isn't going to happen if you keep setting yourself back without. I hated giving alcohol. I loved alcohol so much that we bought a house surrounded by the vineyards of my favorite winemaker. So now every October, I just enjoy the smell. It smells amazing. I've not had wine in I don't even know how many years. Food and alcohol have lost their grip on me and I'm free now. But I got here by making sacrifice. I got here by aligning my will with God's will. I got here by prioritizing my weekend. If this is something you struggle with, this is everything I teach in the Seekers Method. You don't have to join the program to learn these things. Just start reading your Bible every day, prioritizing the right things, taking thoughts captive, planning your days and, and praying over your day. But if you want support, if you want guidance, if you want somebody to cheer you on and to show you your spiritual and physical blind spots and to help you make the tweaks that could get you unstuck and out of your own way and weight loss, then get a hold of me. Visit my website, sherrycapilla.com. You can go to The Seekers Method and get in the program if it's open, or you can go to Christian Life Coaching on my website and do a free call with
with me. I'll help you figure out what works best. The point is this, your weekends matter. Every single day matters. You can make all the choices you want, but you also choose those consequences. So start making better choices so that you can start to step into the life that's waiting for you, even in waiting.